question number 7 part a find integral e to the power 2x sin x dx this question carries 5 marks here in part a they want you to integrate e to the power 2x sin x dx so we are going to apply the method called integration by parts so when you have two functions together so you need to apply integration by parts integration by, by parts is integral u dv is uv integral minus integral vd uv minus integral vd that's the integration by parts but you have to decide you have to write this in the form of u dv so you need to decide which function is u which function is can be considered as dv here so we are going to use the abbreviation d tag if you have learned this uh, integration by parts you'll know about this you need to use this abbreviation detail to find out which function here can be considered as dv so this d stands for dv e is exponential function trigonometric function arithmetic fun uh, algebraic function inverse trigonometric logarithmic function so we have exponential here on trigonometric function so we have two functions here exponential and trigonometric so in this abbreviation whichever letter comes first e comes first right we have two functions e and t e comes first so take the e as dv so here we need to take dv as e to the power 2x dx so that's the first step so find v you integrate both sides integral dv is integral e to the power 2x dx so v will be e to the power 2x upon 2 you don't need to put plus c here because when you integrate you can put plus c at the end so v is e to the power 2x upon 2 and the rest of the function sin x right you take it as u find du derivative of sin x is cos x dx or du upon dx is cos x du is cos x dx now look at this function we have u this whole thing is a dv we have u dv u dv so the integration by parts is uv so integral e to the power 2x sin x dx equals uv u is this v is this uv minus integral v du v is this thing du is this so e to the power 2x over 2 cos x dx usually when you apply integration by parts you will have a second integral here a integral here a function here which can be integrated easily so usually you write this one and integrate this function put it as plus c that's your answer but this is a special case when you have an exponential function and a trigonometric function when you apply integration by parts you will have something here which cannot be integrated directly that means you need to apply integration by parts again here so we are going to apply integration by parts again here so we can write this as e to the power 2x over 2 sin x minus take the half outside integral e to the power 2x cos x dx now i'm going to apply integration by parts for this one again look at the abbreviation detail and here e to the power 2x can be considered as dv dv is e to the power 2x dx integrate both sides so v will be e to the power 2x over 2 and take the cos x as u so your du will be minus sin x dx minus sin x dx so apply integration by parts again so integral e to the power 2x sin x dx equals the first term keep it as it is to sin x 
minus half. Here, apply the integration by parts again. Integration by parts is uv minus integral v du. uv e to the power 2x over 2 cos x minus integral minus integral v du. So, there is another minus here. So, it becomes plus v du sin x dx. So, this is a li little bit tricky one actually. When you apply integration by parts, you will come across this function which cannot be integrated directly. So, you have to apply integration by parts again. Now, when we apply integration by parts again, we got this. We are going to simplify this. So, we have e to the power 2x sin x dx equals e to the power 2x over 2 sin x. Multiply it over by minus half. Minus e to the power 2x by 4 cos x. And then when, when you multiply these two, it's minus 1 over 4 e integral e to the power 2x sin x dx. Now this is crazy. You see, when you apply the integration by parts again, again you get the same integral. That means we need to apply the integration by parts again and again. Instead, what we are going to do, you see this term is same as this. So, we are going to take this term to the right side and take integral e to the power x sin x dx as, a, dx as a common factor. We get the answer straight up. So, what I'm going to do, I'm going to take this to the left side here. So, we'll have integral e to the power 2x sin x dx and then bring this term here. 1 by 4 integral e to the power 2x sin x dx equals write the rest of the terms. Maybe I take e to the power 2x as a common factor half sin x minus 1 by 4 cos x these two terms. Here I am going to take integral of this as a common factor out. These two are like terms actually in algebra. In algebra, so when you, when you add them or you take it as a common factor out, you get one plus one over four, which is five over four. You can write it as five over four integral e to the power two x sine x dx is e to the power two x into half sine x minus one by four cos x. Now bring this constants here, 4 will go to the numerator, 5 becomes denominator, then you got the answer already. So integral e to the power 2x sin x dx equals 4 e to the power 2x upon 5 times 1 by 2 sin x minus 1 by 4 cos x. So, this question involved a lot of uh, working steps actually. So, you got to be very careful. That's the reason this question is awarded 5 marks. Now, this is our answer. You can multiply it through it by 4 by 5 also if you want. So, you can write the answer as e to the power 2x into when you multiply it by 4 by 5. 2 over 5 sin x minus 4 4 can be cancelled 1 over 5 cos x. And don't forget plus C. That's very important. Actually, by right, when you integrate, you have to put plus C immediately. But since we are integrating again and again, I don't want you to add plus C every time. And then you may not know what to do with the, all the constants. So just put plus C at the end. So this is your answer. Integral e to the power 2x sin x dx is this. Part B, figure 2 shows a sketch of part of the curve with equation y equals e to the power x sin x, where x greater than or equal to 0. 
The finite region R is bounded by the curve and the x-axis is shown shaded in figure 2. Show that the exact area of R is e to the power 2 pi plus 1 divided by 5. This question carries two marks. Here in part B, they want you to find the area enclosed by the x-axis and the curve y equals e to the power 2x sin x. So you should have learned this in the chapter integration. When you want to find the area enclosed by a curve on the x-axis, you have to different uh, sorry, you have to integrate this function from this limit to this value, from 0 to this value. This value we don't know, it's yet to be formed. So we are going to integrate it. But in part A, we already got the integration. So we are going to use this integration, leave this C because now we are uh, we are taking definite integral so you don't need to put plus c only thing we need the limits so how do we find the limits we know this x value is zero because the curve passes through origin in order to find this value that when the curve crosses x axis you put y as zero so your when you put y as zero e to the power 2x sin x equals zero here, e to the power 2x cannot be 0. Why? Because if you look at the exponential curve, you know y cannot be 0. So, in order for this to be 0, the sin x should be 0, not e to the power 2x. E, e to the power 2x is not 0. So, your sin x should be 0. So, if you look at the sin curve, sin will be 0 at uh, 0, pi, 2 pi, 4 pi and all these values. So x will be 0, comma, pi. We take first two values, 0 and pi. Substitute here. So integral 0 to pi e to the power 2x sin x dx will give you the area covered by the curve and x-axis. So we have the integration already. Just need to substitute the limit. 2e to the power 2x over 5 sin x minus e to the power 2x over 5 cos x, the limit is 0 to pi. Substitute the upper limit, sin pi is 0, though, so the whole thing is 0. Cos pi is minus 1, so this becomes positive e to the power 2 pi over 5. When you substitute the upper limit, sin pi is 0, so ignore this term. Here e to the power 2 pi cos pi, cos pi is minus 1, minus into minus plus, minus. Substitute the lower limit, sin 0 is 0, cos 0 is 1, e to the power 0 also 1, so minus 1 over pi. So you get e to the power 2 pi plus 1 divided by 5. And in the question itself, it's given, the area is given, they want you to prove that the area is this. So here one, only little tricky thing, you have to find the limit here by equating this to 0 so you can find the x values substitute here. 